Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my tips on painting with your non-dominant hand. And these are just some of the things that helped me go from this to this. So I'm really hoping it helps you guys out too. And yeah, with that, let's get right into the video. The first tip I have is to paint your nails on a stable surface. So a table, a desk, something that's going to help you just have some sort of stability there. If you're trying to paint them on your lap or even floating your hand, it's just going to make this process a lot more difficult. This next tip helped me so much. So you already have your hand on a surface and what you're gonna do, instead of moving your non-dominant hand that you're painting with, you wanna try to move the hand that you're painting that's resting on the surface. I hope this makes sense, but as you can see, as I'm painting it, I'm just gonna turn my nail to each side and this is going to really help you out because most of the time your non-dominant hand will be shaky. So the less you can move it, the better. And this is gonna just minimize some of that movement for you. The next tip I have has to do with the nail polish color. So when you're first starting out, you wanna to try to avoid colors that are really gonna stain if you do mess up. So red, green, black, colors like that, try to stay away from. And also metallic shades because that's really gonna show your mistakes if it is a little, a little messed up here and there. So instead, try to use more of a neutral shade, shears, a pink, just lighter colors are gonna be a little more forgiving. And besides the color, this is not the time to bring out the old globby dried out nail polish that you have because one, it's already hard to paint with. So you add in the fact that you're using your non-dominant hand, it's gonna make your life so much harder. So try to use a newer polish or something that's at least easy to work with. And that's a tip, don't use old nail polish. This next tip is probably my favorite. Get yourself a cleanup brush because chances are you're still gonna mess up a little bit. So grab a small angled brush, get some acetone and just clean it off after you're done. It's something so simple, but honestly, game changer. I don't know what I would do without my cleanup brushes and I will link a few options of brushes down below in the description box, but really any small brush an eyeshadow brush, they'll all work and get the job done. And I also do have a do's and don'ts on how to clean up your nails. So if you're a little lost, I'll make sure to link that in the description box or in the cards. It'll be somewhere, but again, game changer. And my last tip, nobody wants to hear this, but I'm telling you guys, practice, practice, practice. That is the biggest thing when it comes to nails, just in general. I used to not even be able to paint my nails with my left hand, but now, I can do nail art. So it really does take time and I promise you guys it does get easier. So again, I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any more tips, feel free to leave them down below in the comments so we can help each other out. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.